Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a script for the Roblox game Fruit Battleground. So before we get into today's video, if you could drop a like, comment and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. And let's get straight into the video. So first of all, what you guys want to do is go to the link in the description, which will bring you to my website. From there, you want to go to the scripts page and you want to find the game. Click on the game and then you want to follow all the steps once you press the get script button and then come into roblox and execute now once you guys have done that this is what it will look like so we've got a few different tabs here so we'll go over the settings uh, if you put the acrylic blur on um, it will make your game all blurry for whatever reason so i do recommend turning that off then we do have themes here that we can choose from um, i'm just going to leave it on dark then we've got transparency minimize uh, bind which you can change to whatever you want, but I just like having it with control Especially because I'm on PC so the key binds work really really good um, Then we've got configs which if you change any of the settings and you want to create a config so it auto loads every time you uh, You know execute the script then you can do so So if we come to main We've got a key bind to start the farm. So we've got location 1 to 4 and I'll showcase all the different features, but this is location one. And it says a suggestion, use infinite yields anti-AFK because you can get kicked for being AFK. Um, I'm not going to be executing that because I'm not going to be leaving this on. So it doesn't really matter to me. Then we've got our auto farm platform, PC mobile. If you're on mobile, obviously use the mobile. I'm going to be using PC. Then we've got skills. So we'll go ahead here and select all the different skill moves. You can choose a slot. I'm going to do one, change slot, so change it to that. And then we've got redeem codes as well, which you can use in the main menu. So if we go ahead here and toggle our first slot, we can go to auto farm and it will basically auto farm all the different stuff here. Now, uh, the reason why it's not really working too well is because I've selected all the different skills. Um, so uh it's saying i'm not a high enough level um so we can go ahead and just do three and i'm still not a high enough level so we'll go ahead and do just the one skill uh move here as you can see depending on what um thing i've equipped i'm not a high enough level so i'm not really sure you can uh, figure it out but this is probably because I'm not a high enough level to use all the different skills so that's the problem so we can go ahead and toggle that off we can go to location 2 uh, which is over here and then we can do location 3 as you can see we're at a third location then we can go ahead and turn it off location 4 and we're at a different location so the auto farm does work really well. I've went from level like three to nine in that short amount of space. Obviously, the higher level you are, it's going to be longer to level up. But I do recommend equipping all the skills and then leaving the auto farm on using infinite, uh, infinite yield AFK. So that is the main. We've got rolls, so we can roll fruit. Choose what way, quick or normal. Auto spin, and then it says choose method and wanted fruits as well as the slot. Um, so we'll do slow and you can select the fruit uh, that you want to roll so we'll just do uh, something like that I feel like we need to reset here so we can go back to the main menu and then we can do the roll now I'm not sure if I have any points for that but we can go ahead here and redeem all the codes and it should redeem all the codes for us so we'll come over to spin and I actually do have quite a lot so we can go ahead and do auto spin as you can see it should take these different points off us and it says up here what we are spinning so once you obviously get the fruit that you want it will stop spinning I think or it will just put it into storage um, now that is the normal and slow method so we'll do quick and fast as you can see, it's rapidly using all my different points. I'm not sure if it's crystals or whatever, but um, 
you can you know mess around with that but it works great um, if we go back I'm not sure if we got one we might have got one um, no that's the only one I have um, so once you spin that for it it should put it in storage for you so if we go ahead here and play uh, we can use our teleport so we can teleport to a dimension a location on an NPC as you can see here's some of the NPC stuff books and whatever um, then we've got locations arena um, boss spawn uh, but we don't really need that don't know why it says I'm level one again um, it's weird uh, and then dimensions as you can see it teleports you to a different dimension so if you guys did enjoy today's video then please be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye, -bye.